Well, well, well. If it isn't everybody who normally watches my videos, and if you're new here, I didn't expect you here. Welcome to my humble abode. Uh, you know, today we don't have, you know, the usual custom stuff that you've probably, uh, hopefully saw last time because it was a huge hit. I don't know if it was or not, um, but they're usually more popular. Anyways, let's hop in to my right stuff unboxing. I've got a few things from Amazon as well in here. Let's open her up and see what we got. Whoa. Wow. 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 The good stuff. So, let's open up the next one. This one here is a nice one, you know. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but at least for me, this happened. Right stuff actually switched to FedEx. Um, they usually just use USPS. So that was a pretty big surprise to me. Feel free to use this. Comment below if you used it. That way other people don't try it. Ooh, Master Keen. You don't get that every day, I guess. Yeah. All right, very good, very good. Very good, let's move on to the next thing. We're almost done with the unboxing. I have learned to do the unboxings first and then the unhauling and then the discussion. If you are new here, that's the, the order I do things in. So you'll see what I've got soon enough in the hall. If you're like, why isn't he showing me what he got? What the heck? Got to give this a little cut. Boop, boop. All right. Okay. That's my name, my address, and my phone number. Oh, yes. Adam Cat. This is not at all the size of manga I was thinking it would be. This is like a little bit wider than the normal Viz, um, Viz Sig size, it looks like. Um, this is technically the sequel to Astro Boy. Um, so I thought that was interesting how they have that um, here. So. The first chapter, we have the birth of Adam Cat, um, Mephisto, the demonic cat, the cat mummy, Lube afterwards, blah, 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 blah. Um, so I'm very interested to see how this series goes. Hopefully it is a little bit more fun than Astro Boy. I plan on reading this with the last one uh, since apparently they are uh, related to each other. I mean, obviously you can see Astro Boy uh, being involved here. We see his creation just like that. Um, it looks like though that the main character is just reading Astro Boy. Um, so that's interesting to me, pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, that's what I've heard. I heard that this is the spiritual successor to Astro Boy and kind of serves as an epilogue to him. So we'll see how true that is. It really seems like Astro Boy is a TV show uh, in this series, which is very silly as well. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I think that this looks like it has a lot of charm and promise to it. And this is in, in stock. You can get this online. I got that for about $12, $10, something like that. So just normal retail. Let's open up this next one here. Maybe. You guys ever see American Dad? Where the alien just says maybe, baby, for like 10 minutes. Every time I say maybe, it doesn't work. Like, that's good marketing. Oh, I forgot I got this. Um, so this is also still in stock. Uh, it's called Crimson Shell. This was, I think, even cheaper. This was probably $6. Yeah, I got it for like even less than $13. Um, yeah, so this is the first uh, story, or at least an earlier story, um, by Jun Mochizuki. I just figured I'd grab it because it was one volume long, their first work, at least in English. And I figured it'd be worth checking out. Worst comes to worst, it's not good. And I have just one volume of it laying around and one day it'll become super rare and I'll sell it for $300 because people want to have, uh, you know, June um, 
Jun Mojizuki. <laughs> Can't say that last name quite right. Wow, look at that. The scumbags. $13 US CAD 17 right here. Right over the, the barcode. 12, 13, 50. Scum. Just scum. Yo, <laughs> Jun Mochizuki rolling in his grave right now. <laughs> Anyways, let's show everybody what we got going on today, okay? So, obviously we have Astro Cat, um, wherever I put Astro Cat, and we also have um, Crimson Shell, so I'll put those out to the side. We also have Yakuza Reincarnation Volume 6, I'm getting a little bit behind the Yakuza Reincarnation. Black Hearts all around that look sick. Um, Ugh. You know, in the Hot Spring Volume 24, this is straight porn. I really don't recommend reading this series. It, this is the final volume. Yashahimi Volume uh, 3. This series seems to come out pretty slow, like one or two volumes a year, it seeming like. <clears throat> we also have Tower of God Volume 2, the, the hardcover edition. I only am going to want the hardcover for this series, I think. The Webtoons paperback, like I have it for so long, they're just too heavy. Uh, Grand Blue Dreaming Volume 19, one of my favorite rom-coms. Is that really a rom-com or is it just a com? <laughs> uh, March Comes Like a Lion Volume 1. This volume, I, it, I did not think it was real. I, I did not think it was ever going to come out. Uh, it has been delayed so many times, not even just lengthwise, just so many times it was delayed. Uh, we also have PTSD Radio Volume 2. I was missing this. I have one and three already down in my uh, library. So that's good. That's great. Gotta have it. Gotta love it. We have To Love Rue Volumes 5 through 6. A character that looks oddly familiar to me. It looks almost like Eve from um, Black Cat, which is cool. We also have To Love Rue Volume 13, 14 here as well. I think that that was all I was missing for To Love Rue. Uh, now I'm just missing two Lover of Darkness volumes, uh, I think. Call of the Night, volume 12. Comey Can't Communicate, volume 25. I've heard that this series has picked up steam and gotten very popular again. So that's good to hear. Gotta like, gotta like to ride those waves. Uh, Welcome to Demon School, Iruma Kun, volume 2. Uh, Fake Red, Spider-Man. This is an all-in-one omnibus by Viz and Marvel. They've been doing a few of these collaborations. Good timing because uh, Cross the Spider-Verse came out and it was super good. I really enjoyed it. If you guys like Spider-Man, I definitely recommend checking out that movie. Um, Drifting Dragons, Volume 13. Golden Come Away, Volume 29. I think we're getting pretty close to the end. Alice in Borderland. I feel like it's been a while since I got one of these in. Volume 6. Not sure how many of these there are left. The Horizon Volume 1, a long sought after uh, webtoon by Ize. Um, a lot of people wanted to print this before it got uh, licensed. So I'm glad that they licensed it. Sometimes I think they pay attention to what a scum do over here in the US. To Love Root Darkness Volume 4, I'm still missing a few of these. Uh, My Dress of Darling Volume 9. Uh, Rent a Girlfriend Volume 19. I don't think this series will ever end. Uh, Uncle from Another World Volume 7. This seems like extra shiny to me. I don't know if it really is extra shiny or if it's just regular shiny. But yeah, Uncle in Another World has pretty cool volumes like that. Ooh, this is a neat one, huh? Master Keaton Volume 2. A lot of people say that this is the worst series Urasawa's ever been a part of. Uh, so that's nice. I really like to hear it. It's good to know. Volume 2. Yozakura Family Volume 5. This series has been a lot better than I, you know, I had originally thought it was going to be. My Isekai Life Volume 7. So what? I'm a spider. Uh, volume 12. I don't think it's supposed to be said like that, but I felt like being that sassy with it. Uh, Free Ren Volume 8. We're almost done here. Chain Soldier. I really like this series, Volume 4. I think it's very fun. By the same author as Kill a Kill. Um, oh, is it wrong? Fit Girls in the Dungeon, a new spinoff, um, Volume 1. Memoria Frise, 
uh, Holy Night Tramway. I don't know what the heck I just said. Interesting. The Holy Night Festival has arrived. Okay. All right. Um, Higurashi, When They Cry, Go or Go. This is the sequel to Higurashi. Um, so yeah, this is more based off of, at least I, from what I understand, based off what the new anime was doing. Sword Art, Sword Art Online, Progressive, Shizuryo of the Deep Knight, Volume 1. Uh, we're, I don't know if they're ever going to finish the other ones or what the deal is with that. Sometimes I don't finish these Sword Art on, Online arcs. Sometimes I don't know even know if they're done or not. Um, Kageki Shoujo, Volume 9 as well. I've heard nothing but good things about this series. I am pretty excited to read it when I eventually make the time for it. Overlord, The Undead King. Oh, Volume 10. Uh, and a little comic on the back. So now we're just going to real quick talk about these series. I'll show you guys a few pages as well as I discuss it. Overlord, The Undead King. Oh, Volume 10. The series is kind of like a four coma spinoff. And jokey version of um, Overlord. Think of the series Isekai Quartet, except exclusively Overlord characters. That's what this is for the most part, at least from what I understand of it. Um, Kageki Shoujo. Series is about, um, you know, plays and dramas and acting. Uh, think Act Age, except if the author wasn't a total scumbag and weirdo, that would be this series here. And the story is very good. Higurashi Go, kind of what I was already talking about before. I believe that this is more based off of the newer anime that was a continuation of the older anime. It was kind of a twist to it. Um, and yeah, so each of the stories it looks like um, they kept a somewhat similar uh, style of prints with this one as they did originally, except they don't have the arcs here. Thank God they just have the absolute volume number. Originally, they had both the absolute volume number and the arc number, so it'd be like this is the Demon Village arc volume one, but volume like 12 originally, so it was very confusing to figure out the reading order, and it was super small, so hard to read at a glance. Uh, so I'm glad that they have that kind of mended there. Um, <laughs> I do kind of wish that this series would actually tell you where these should be read in the main series. Um, is it Run Pick Girls in the Dungeon have so many spinoffs at this point? Um, you know, they have Sword Artoria, they've got the Wolf one, they've got the Liliana one, they've got the God, Goddess ones, they got a lot. Uh, they got number two, I, it's difficult to know where to, to read with that. So, um, I, I kind of wish that they only had absolute numbering or, or at least say, read this before this or something like that, but oh well. Uh, Chain Shoulder, Volume 4. Oh, that's right, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the art here, just so you can kind of see what it looks like. I believe that this is the same artist as the original. Um, difficult to know though, uh, but yes, it is It is existent. Fuji, Fujino Mori is the main writer to it. Um, just who is this old lady and how long, and why has she made the long journey to Orario? Yeah, interesting. Uh, anyways, uh, Chain Soldier Volume 4. This series is by the same author as Kill a Kill. I'm not going to open it up because it is sealed. This does have quite a lot of nudity in it. The concept is very similar to this game called um, uh, Something Chain, Astral Chain, I believe it's called. Uh, it's actually kind of old now, which just makes me feel old. But um, this main concept is this girl is able to control this guy using a chain, but when he does it, he's this big, awesome, great soldier that does absolutely whatever she says and is a total beast. But the more she asks of him, the greater the reward she has to give him. And so uh, they obviously, because they're teenagers, end up just being super pervy rewards, blah, 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 blah. Um, but it is a very interesting story. It has a world similar to uh, Twin Star Exorcist. So if you're a fan of Twin Star Exorcist, I would definitely check it out. Um, or if you like kind of demons, that kind of thing. Yokai, blah, 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 blah. Free Run Volume 8. Uh, this series is kind of a more popular one these days. Uh, we're following these three right here. Uh, Free Run originally was in the Heroes Party when they beat the Demon Lord, and kind of this is their story after the fact. Uh, I don't think I've read the last one. The story is pretty interesting and we are getting more and more intakes into the world and how magic is kind of interpreted by people as well as how demons are intertwined in this world trying to kind of get rid of humans but not really kind of more like farm them I suppose. Uh, so it is an interesting story, very cool kind of lore. You see this mermaid man here just like totally running train. I don't know if he's a mermaid or if he's a snake man. He could be either one. 
Um, but yeah, it's kind of gruesome at some times, but it's, it's been a lot of fun and very interesting read nonetheless. Uh, I'm a spider, so what? Volume 12, one of the original isekais. I remember when it first came out, everybody was all over it. It was very close at the same time as Slime. And I was like, oh my God, who wants to read this trashy story about a spider? Turns out it's one of the best stories that is in the isekai genre, which I thought was really funny. Uh, so I've been picking it up. I haven't quite read it yet. I am just waiting for a space to open up to read it, I suppose. My Isekai Life, uh, get a second class, volume seven. This one I made room for it, though, go figure that. Uh, so we just took down a dragon. We've got this boar here. He's probably gonna just absolutely fuck it up. Uh, this has been a pretty interesting story, but this guy who comes to this world as a tamer, he tames a few slimes, the slimes get all the knowledge, and then he's able to take that knowledge and interpret it himself and have all these awesome spells, even though he's a tamer, so he has like the second class of sage. Uh, his mana is of course outrageous and every time he goes below it, because he does go below it, he almost dies because he's using his health instead to cast. This series has been very good, a lot of cool little explosions and we see that there's this underground organization that's kind of you know, threatening mankind. That he's kind of trying to save, but kind of not really, he doesn't seem to be super involved in it, just kind of more of figuring out what's going on. He was a Kura family, he follows this little guy here. He is being trained until he's ready to die. And he is married to this girl here. She is able to give birth to all these people who have superpowers, but she herself does not have superpowers. And therefore people all around the world are always trying to marry into the Yozakura family. Um, so that's kind of where we're at with that. Uh, the, Concept to it is very interesting. Each volume, I feel like we focus more on a sibling we haven't focused on quite yet. We show the main character kind of progressing his skills into the spy world because he was pretty trashy originally and just, you know, become better overall. Uh, we also get more introduced into the spy world. Each volume that goes on, is this better than Sakamoto fan Sakamoto days? Should you be reading this instead of Sakamoto days? No, you should be reading Sakamoto days. Is this still good? Yeah, absolutely. You should check it out. Um, I feel like it's gotten better at the, you know, each volume, uh, for sure. Uh, Master Keen Volume 2, like I mentioned before, I've heard that this one's not great. Um, I think that, uh, it starts off with Urasawa mainly just doing the art, and then I think he takes over the whole thing, if I remember right. He's got these cool little French flaps. Um, the art to it inside looks like this. Obviously, since I just got volume two here, you, you can probably put two and two together. I haven't read a ton of this series yet. Um, I don't even really know what it's about uh, other than, you know, this investigator trying to figure out some sort of a mystery. I really am just a slave to the Urasawa art style. <laughs> and as you can see, they know a lot of people are because guess who's in bold, <laughs> you know, and it says story by these two off to the side. Doesn't even just say art by him. Um, anyways, Uncle in Another World Blind Zone. This series has been very funny. The main concept is that an uncle comes back from another world. Uh, when he comes back into the real world, he was found to be actually in a coma this whole time. And he is very interested in, um, trying to figure out what's going on with video game world and that kind of a thing. I think that's very funny. He's a YouTuber now and he makes money by using ma his magic spells that he can use in the current world. Uh, and as YouTube videos and you know throughout the series we are given flashbacks of his time in the other world as he tells stories to his nephew about them and he reminisces on them and the nephew asks some questions about it. Very funny story, very silly and that when you get the little stories from the other world they're very interesting. So definitely recommend checking it out. There's an Emmy to it now as well so check that out. Uh, Rent a Girlfriend Volume 19. Don't know much about it, just like I say every time. I just keep getting it because um, it keeps coming out. Uh, and people just make a lot of buzz about it. My Dress Up Darling, again, sealed, so I'm not going to open it up. Uh, this came out as an anime and it was very popular, so I grabbed it because um, it was on sale. I've just been picking it up as it comes out since. To Love for Darkness, very etchy series. Um, same kind of deal with this wrapping, not going to open it up by the same author as uh, Black Cat, or sorry, Artist as Black Cat. Um, but yeah, I heard that this is very steamy. I mean, you can literally see nipples kind of poking out through the cover. Uh, so yeah, I was really hoping that it's not that way, but I think it is that way. I may as well just get these out of the way as well to love Rue 13 and 5 and 6. These are both ghost ship here, you can see. So I won't pick those. Uh, I won't be going through that either. 
Sword Art Online, Volume 1, Shezrio of the Deep Knight Progressive. Um, so this is, I think, after the Broth of Robobla. Um, and they're climbing the original tower from Card or Ironcrad to get to the top and to the end of Sword Art Online. At least that was the initial plot. It was a much better retelling of the original series, which is good because everybody finds that the you know first arc was, at least in general, the better one. Um, so this has been two months into the world of Ironcrad. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested in kind of going back to Ironcrad and you wanted something new, I would check this out. The anime is not quite here yet, uh, but the movies are coming out and they are kind of focusing on progressive a little bit. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to check out the manga, but you know, not the light novel, then that would be the way to go. But I've heard the light novel is the best option. Uh, the Horizon, I've heard that this is a super fucked up series. It's a webtoon comic. You can see there are no words. So this is a really quick way to boost your numbers in your reading log. Um, I don't know much about this story other than it's fucked up. I don't think that there are many volumes to this series either, uh, but I could be wrong. I don't really know. Uh, but yeah, I'm interested to read it. I've, it's been definitely recommended to me a lot. Um, Alice in Borderland Volume 6. This series has been very interesting. I am, you know, falling quite a bit behind it lately. But the main concept is these guys wake up in another world or another dimension or something like that. And they have to um, get these cards in order to stay here. If they don't get the cards, they are killed and... They don't really know what happens to them. They don't know if they're dead or what. So they're just like, let's try to avoid that and just try to get these cards. These are two in ones. So it's a really cool cover design in my opinion as well. Golden Kamuwe. This series has been very silly, but also very action packed. And also it has a lot of cool food in it. Uh, so yeah, this has been a really cool series. It's wrapping up, winding down to the end. Main concept is they're trying to find a treasure from all these tattooed men. These have, they have the tattoo on the back of where the treasure is. Put all the tattoos together and then you get the location of it. Um, Drifting Dragon, Volume 13. This series started off as not good. It has actually gotten pretty good, pretty interesting. The art style is really the main draw to it though, in my opinion. The main concept is these guys are, you know, flying around, catching dragons and cooking them. However, there's a bit more to it as well. We get to, to find more of a uh, backstory on the world. We get to see how the ships work and how the crews work, how other people are involved in this lifestyle and other lifestyles that they could be interested in as well. Spider-Man Red, I don't know much about it, but it's got quite a few cool characters on it. We've got Venom, Scorpion, and then you've got uh, this girl here. I forget her name. I think that's her anyways. But I don't remember liking her very much. In this shot here, that looks like more of Ben Riley than it does Peter Parker because he's got looking like blondish hair. Maybe it is Ben Riley. I'm not sure. Uh, anyways, I don't. Oh, Silk's in this? What the heck? Why? Why? It... Is Silk that old? Is this that new? <laughs> uh, when was this made? That's interesting. Uh, it says 2023, but I don't think that's. I think that's just when we got it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know when this came out, but it's gotta be somewhat recently, so that's cool. Cool that this is uh, here. So yeah, hopefully that this is pretty good. Usually most manga comics are not great. Um, so if it's not great, I'm not ever too let down by that. <laughs> I expect it to not be good. But um, I do grab it because I'm in a very Spider-Man-ish mood since the Across the Spider-Verse movie. Welcome to Demon School, Iruma Kun. This series I'm always being told, so check out. That looks really cool. That looks neat. Uh, so I do. So I am. So that's what's happening. Uh, yeah, so check it out. I heard nothing but good things about it. You can let me know down below if I'm wrong. <laughs> Kobe can't communicate. Volume 25, this series, I don't know too much about other than there are a bunch of little short stories put together. You can see we're on chapter 329 on volume 25, like really, really 300. So the chapters are relatively short. Um, so most people complain that, you know, the chapters are too uh, short not and not contained enough or they don't have enough continuity to it. Some people will complain that the story's not going anywhere, but I've heard kind of really good things about it lately. Call of the Night, Volume 12. This series also one that is very popular these days about little ghosts and goblins, vampires and ghouls. Woo! Okay, maybe not exactly like that. But yeah, I heard nothing but good things about it. 
PTSD radio. I see this on everybody's shelves and I think it looks so cool and it's got this like neat little texture to it. So I grabbed it, but let me tell you, those are not good reasons to get a manga, especially ones that are expensive as this. And I think I am not going to try to do that too much in the future, but I've heard that this is some of the creepiest shit around. So I did want to grab it for that reason. Hopefully it's true, but we'll see if it is or not. March Comes Like a Lion, Volume 1. It's got little French flaps here, little French flaps there. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool release here. I don't know why this was delayed so many times. This was literally delayed a lot, like years away. Like, I think the series could be done by now if it just wasn't delayed in English. Um, so the main concept is this guy, I believe he moves in with these girls and he has to kind of get used to living with a bunch of girls and his new life. I forget what happened to his parents. I've watched a little bit of the anime, but I did not watch the whole thing. The main thing is this guy is really good at like chess, but I believe it's actually more of go, um, not really chess. So yeah, it should be interesting. Or is it Shogi? Hmm. I can't remember. I haven't seen this series in a while and I never finished it. I only saw a few of the volumes or a few of the episodes to it. And I know what you're thinking. You're a fucking moron, dude. You should really check out this series. But yeah, he's just a Shogi player. But yeah, uh, I think I'll just read it. <laughs> uh, anyways, Grand Blue Dreaming, volume 19. This is always a lot of fun. High school, uh, college drinking parties and fun. Diving, sure, sometimes. Um, look at that, he's got some weight training. They, really, they upgraded his experiment here. You'll notice that uh, this is gonna go right there. This is for <laughs> engineering professor. Whatever they're not doing great in class, they have to do these extra credit assignments typically. And um, <laughs> yeah, this looks like uh, they really up the ante with these chains, <laughs> holy shit. Uh, oh, a little Sailor Moon references here. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be a good volume. Whenever his friends are involved, I really, really enjoy it. You can see they have <laughs> poison going into their pens and shit like that. Oh my God. They The main concept with their friends is that they are always trying to outdo the others. And uh, they're always trying to make sure the others do not lose their virginity, which I think is, it's just been a comedic goddamn roller coaster. I love it every time I get to it. Um, Tower of God, I've read a lot of this online uh, way back when, like years ago. Uh, this series is a lot of fun. Uh, this goes up to the crown game. It doesn't even look like it finishes the crown game, but the main concept here is they're trying to climb this gigantic tower. Who knows what they're going to get at the top because I don't think anyone's been up there, but they do know people in the upper levels and they are like super strong, almost like gods. Um, so yeah, right now they're still working on the like preliminary entrance exam kind of a thing. Uh, the anime covered this portion. If you wanted to check it out, you can check out the anime though. I watched the anime. People said it was not great. I just thought it was, I personally thought it was okay, um, but I definitely thought the webtoon was better. So give that a read if you're interested in it at all. Something that's weird though is it's green on the front here in the back, but on the spine, it's blue. Uh, it's definitely not like a misprint or anything like that. It's definitely designed to be that way. It's just an odd design choice. Yashahimi Volume 3. This is the continuation of Inuasha. Uh, follow, follows two of um, Inuasha's kids, I believe, and one of um, Sasomaru's. So, yeah, pretty cool, pretty interesting. I've heard mixed reactions about this, but you always get that with the sequel manga. There's really not that much of a buy-in at this point, so if you're interested in it, I would check it out. There's an anime as well, but I've heard the anime is a little different than the manga. I'm not showing you guys any pages of this. Don't buy it. You see this? Right here. Burn this into your brain. Do not buy, okay? Thank you. Bye. This series, you could buy. It's pretty good. Yakuza Reincarnation Volume 6. This is a series that follows a badass boss of Yakuza. Reincarnated into a nice little princess's body and is introduced into this really sick skill system. There's demons, there's hells, there's dragons, there's monsters, there's ghouls, there's slimes, there's dragons, there's shadows. Uh, so yeah, this has been a really cool fantasy world. It starts off pretty interesting, gets really cool, gets a little bit weird, then it gets really cool again. So I definitely recommend checking it out. Wow, that looks really sick. Um, this is a very cool isekai if you like... Uh, a lot of action and uh, Yakuza kind of a mentality. Um, if you like kind of old school feudal Japan stuff, this would be kind of more your alley with magic in it. Um, if you just hate Isekai, then I guess you probably wouldn't like it as much, but it's very cool. I really enjoyed it a lot. Adam Ken, I kind of talked about uh, earlier and showed you guys a few pages of it, which I didn't mean to, but I was really just too excited that I could not do it. Um, 
But yeah, this is Astro Boy, Astro Cat, Adam Cat, because it used to be the Mighty Adam, but now it's Adam Cat. <laughs> so check that one out too. And again, I already showed you a little bit of Crimson Shell. Uh, first one that came to America by June. Uh, Mochizuki, at least from what I understand, is the first one. I'm not a hunt. I got maxed out on recording time. It didn't record last, but. So yeah, this is very good. The end of this uh, series, you know, June Mizu Mochizuki's um, first one that got into English from what I know. Check it out or not. I'm not too sure if it's good or not, but I grabbed it just because it's one volume long. Anyways, I talked to you about it earlier. That is all I've got for you today. Let me know down below what you thought of today's haul. If you guys found anything that you find and you want to grab it on the right stuff, especially during the birthday stuff coming up pretty soon. I believe it's like starts the last week or week before the last week of June, like around the 25th ish. Um, you know, definitely is my affiliate link down below and let me know what you guys saw of today's haul until next time. Bye bye.